The Studio works with all of the Infineon microcontrollers. So what you have here is the XMC4000, we have the Trevio board, we have the RX board, and we have the PSOC 4. Here we also have the PSOC 6 AI evaluation kit and the PSOC Edge, which has a neural network accelerator. These are only some of the examples that the studio works with. It actually works with a broader range of microcontrollers, but uh, here you have some highlights. And just to add some focus, so with the PSOC Edge and the Neural Network Accelerator, you can do advanced machine learning uh, on, on the edge. So you have a very powerful and dedicated uh, accelerator. With the PSOC 6 AI Evaluation Kit, we have a broad range of different sensors. So you can take sensors from different modalities and put them through the machine learning model and deploy models based on those. On the, on the XMC boards, you can do things like run industrial uh, um, machine learning models like predictive maintenance. On the RX board, you can do things like siren detection and vehicles. And the same thing with the Trevio, so you can run in-cabin machine learning models and applications, for example, detecting uh, when kids are in the car. And with the PSOC 4 for automotive, you can do things like uh, run motor control. So now we're going to get started with uh, going through the end-to-end -end flow in the Studio program. Essentially what we'll do is download the Siren Detection Project, which is a microphone-based project. So we have uh, audio data. And we're going to go through the end-to-end -end, uh, flow of uh, collecting some data, managing the data sets, doing the pre-processing, the model building, and eventually the deployment. So to get started first, we want to set up our workspace. I have already done that, but essentially you go to open project and then you, you select the folder that you want to add it in or create a new folder. And you can also do it with the Open Workspace button. So the first thing that we're going to do is to add a new project. So we can do that through the file New Project. And then the first thing is we're going to download the Siren project. Make sure that you have ticked the Download Additional Data. This will download the data sets and the predictions and things like that. Otherwise, you just get the trained models, but none of the data. We also want to do a data collection, so we want to create a Graph UX project. And we're going to start from an empty canvas, and we'll give it a, a name, Data Collection Siren. So now it will download all of the data sets and all of that, so you just need to give it a moment to download everything. So let's populate our data collection project. First, we have a library of different uh, parts. We're just going to quickly go to the devices and drag the serial capture. And the serial capture allows us to extract data from uh, devices over a serial connection. And then we want to actually see the output from the device. So we're just going to add the visualization and add the data track. And this is essentially all you need to start uh, collecting data. We are also going to create a folder where we save our data sets to. This will just make it easy to import the data. And then all you need to do to start collecting is to connect the serial capture to the visualization node and then select the right COM port. 